How will the wrestlers fare in 2024? It's time to play everyone's new favorite game show with everybody saying, push, bench, repackage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Ross, joined by Jack and their Tom. We might as well get cracking with the knocking. It's a simple concept. We'll see a wrestler on screen, then we'll see whether we'll see them pushed or see them bench, you know, put on the sidelines on the substitutes bench or repackage. Start from a, the bottom upwards. Start again. Start again. Right, let's go. Gunter, mm. I'm going to say push. Snog. <laughs> There's a, fair, there's a fair few to get through, Tom. Sorry, Mario Kill. Uh, push. <laughs> yeah, yeah, push, push, push. Even it's... though he's the IC champion, push him more. Harder. Push yeah. him harder. Higher. Up the card. Joel, next one, please. Ivy Nile, I would say a soft push. A soft push there. I'm slightly changing my own rules, you know, uh, mere uh... seconds into this video. <laughs> but fleeting, what she's done on Raw, it's been fleeting, but it's also been quite good. Hard push. Love Ivy Nile. Ooh. Really, when she turned up in NXT, thought she was brilliant. Push her more, please. I think push as well. Um, although it's a crowded women's division scene at the minute, so I think I agree with you. A soft, a soft push. Don't give it too much too soon, like no. poor old Maxine. Yeah, more on her later. But she can be <laughs> fine <laughs> if she got pushed harder. Jimmy uh... Uso. I'm gonna say bench. But not like a hard bench, just not a push. The opposite to a push. So have him there, have him do the silly bollocks he's doing, like him in the Rumble was one of the highlights, I thought, trying to align with all the heels, but not a central fugal force, just the periphery. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, okay. I will say push, because I think he's great. <laughs> I think, what does it count as if I want him in a feud with Jay? That's a bit of a push, isn't it? Because yeah. I think he's done really well in his silly role as the fall guy of the bloodline. Um, he's been very selfless. The donkey. Mm-hmm. But now, uh, yeah, push, push. Push. Bench. Whoa, 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 whoa. It didn't, it, it was fine, wasn't it? You know, he got proved right in his promo when The Rock came out and people started shouting things. He was proven right. The matches, ugh, uh, he's always going to have that little bit of a, what's the word I'm looking for? Stigma attached to his name because he is Jinder. Is the heat real or is it just Jinder heat? <laughs> for that reason, I say repackage. Mm, to what? Uh, something far more palatable. <laughs> I, I think repackage in a sort of happy Corbyn-esque way. Mm. But where because I find gender quite funny. And when he can lean into the comedy a bit more, I think he'll still find a regular place on TV. So I'll, I'll go repackage as well. Very diplomatic. Mm. Who's next, Joel? <sighs> well, I'm gonna say repackage. They're in a really tough spot because they're having all these matches on TV. When they come out, they get no pop. By the end of the match, they get all the pops. All the pops, all the fizzy ones and everything in between. Uh, but it's just the fact that every time they come out, they're still not getting the pop because people can't remember what they did the last show or maybe they didn't see the last show. So I'm going to say a, a repackage into something different. Repackage into something different. I'll say bench because... You've only just got them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it feels longer. It feels longer. And I'm a, bit, I'm a huge fan of both. But the tag team stuff, I don't think is working. Is that more of a repackage then? If they want them to see them more as singles? Yeah, if I want to see them as singles. Yeah, I don't think I want to see them disappear. So I'll, I'll go repackage. Is that t-shirt real that I saw on, on the X.com last what night? Was that? You know, our truth was calling them DX on Raw recently. <laughs> All right. uh, they replaced the Y in DIY with an X. So it it says dicks. D I X. Dicks down the t-shirt. <laughs> Champ is there almost. You can see it. Yeah, it's that t-shirt, but oh. they've put like a DX X on the Y. So it says, just says dicks. There's your repackage right there. Real. Yeah, the dicks coming soon to attack <laughs> Team Ross and you. Who's next, Joel? Feud with the Johnsons. <laughs> oh, push. Talking, talking to Johnsons. <laughs> Bet they've got large oh, ones. They've got massive Johnsons. It's a push for me, Jeff. Push. Push and repackage. I don't want to mangle out with Karrion Cross anymore. That's fallen a bit flat Stop already, Stop playing with Karrion Cross, boys. Go play on your own. Yeah, what's wrong with that? The, what, the final testament for you? I just it's carrying cross in it. He's just got this weird <laughs> and this this weird go away energy about him. And you know, lo a lovely guy, he does a great Jesse Ventura impression. I'm sure we'll touch on him in a bit. But they they just need to go with Paul Ellering and just go and beat up tag teams. Yeah. It's not complicated with AOP. No, that's exactly the but yeah, it's not complicated with them. I'm gonna go push. I don't know if free package I, I wouldn't mind them staying as part of this group, but only if they were also allowed to branch out. Like, kind of like Finn and Priest in yeah. the tag division. So put push AOP. Push AOP. Push. Push. Over his rover. Looks like he's going to get an IC title. Well, he's getting an IC title match very soon indeed. In fact, tomorrow when this video goes live, you'll see that match. But after that, uh, do they do some sort of schmoz and do it again at WrestleMania? Ooh, possibly. I was going to say push him 
and then be, I was trying to think what do we, what do, what beyond the feud with Jimmy? And then I thought, have him feud with Pat McAfee for being annoying. <laughs> because every time he comes out, Pat's, Pat's giving it this. You look at yeah. me, Michael. Imagine Jay you going, love Pat. No, you push bang. Pat. Um, Pat I don't know. I can't remember. Push. There's Pat. a fair few. Just, oh. just sat Pat. I'll agree. Push, push, Jay. Push. What do you you push as well? Oh, we're all push. Mm. We're all push. Push yeah. both Usos. The shagging cousins <laughs> oh, who have been yes. repackaged fairly recently. They are no longer shagging cousins. They're just cousins. If you don't watch NXT, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's your fault, not mine. Um, I'm just going to say, push as they are. They're doing all right stuff with their new alignment with Santos Escobar. So keep it going. I like the look of the faction. Yeah, I'm going to say push as well. I will as well. Are we pushing too many people? No. no. Everyone can be pushed at the same time. We know this, can't not, we? It works with Tony Khan. Well, yeah. I was <laughs> gonna say I was gonna say there's not enough room, but of course there is there's three brands and hours and hours of TV a week. Yeah, pushes but continue along the same push that they're on. Ooh, recently just joined Bobby's Boys. I like the look of her in the faction, but I've never really seen her wrestle, so I can't really comment on a push or a, a bench or a repackage. I think push along with Bobby's Boys. Yes. Yeah. I, I go with that one. I, there was a promo backstage on SmackDown, and it, even though she's imposing and looks impressive as part of the group and everything, it didn't sound very natural at all. Ooh. But maybe, but I, yeah, push, because I think casting her out on her, this is clearly to get her used to TV, and yeah, okay. I was about to be very harsh there, but no. <laughs> I was going to like bench her straight away, but no, not at all. Um, push. Push, easy push. I don't know what we're doing at WrestleMania. Something's got to happen at the Charm Bear to set up a match because she's, she's not in the title mix, is she, at the moment? No. Push for her and Jade Cargill Ooh. to do a big, meaty mother battle at <laughs> Mania. I'm going to I'm gonna go oh. repackage with Bianca Belair. To what? Ooh. I don't know. A heel. A, heel a Bianca. slob. No, no. The exact, yeah. the exact the worst. The RST. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's the worst at everything. I like that, yeah. actually. Um, no, I'll say repackage as a heel. I think uh, she's a grey baby face, but I think people have been a bit, not sick of her, just a bit used to her recently. So especially mm. the feud with Asuka, was it last year's WrestleMania? Yeah. Yeah. Um, everyone wanted Asuka to win just because she'd put new face paint on. And I thought that was a bad <laughs> sign for Bianca. There was a bit of a backlash online when Bianca won that match. It has been a while, hasn't it? How long has she been on the main roster now? Three years? Quite a while. Four years? Three years. I think turn her heel because she can do both and she's really good. I kind of want to push and repackage now I'm thinking about it because I love the idea of the match with Jay Cargill. I love the idea of Jay beating her and then kind of leaning into what you said half jokingly, <laughs> have her just kind of lose all her confidence over over the year and she just comes out looking just bedraggled, like crisps all around her mouth, just <laughs> given up and then it's the journey back to get into buff shape to beat Jay Cargill next year. I think Okada did that after he lost to Kenny Omega. With crisps all around his No, mouth. he came out with balloons for some reason. Some red hair yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was acting a bit sort of Almost like he'd been drinking and he was doing unnecessary flips and rolls and stuff. Everyone went, oh. this isn't Okada. So I, I, good... I only mentioned that because Bobby Lashley pitched it, didn't he, a few years ago, that he would put on weight and come out with a belly yes. and lose it all and get back on track. And That'd then... be amazing. Imagine just being able to do that. They didn't let him... Oh, well, God, I Imagine wish. just being, oh, I'll just transform my body <laughs> and then, I'm and then back again. But yeah. I've just spent too long in the middle bit right now. <laughs> I thought, I'm buying into the, the Triple H mantra of booking. The story never ends. We might, we might get there in 10 years' time. <laughs> Who's next, Joel? <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm going to say push, you know. I hate myself for saying it, but his promos on SmackDown, just being, he sounds like a nerdy, spoiled brat, if that makes any sense in the world. He's just, he fits the role. What they're having him do is just on the point for me, so just keep him going as he is. Push. Mm. Yeah, it's annoying because he's obviously, he's obviously a real life heel as well yes, as the rest of but he's just an absolute natural. And yeah, he, and, and everyone's waiting for him to slip up so they can go, hey, he's not actually good. He doesn't slip up, so yeah. He's in, the, he's in the top quarter promo, I'd say, in the yeah, roster. Oh, yeah, definitely. Top quarter. Yeah. That's as high as I'll go. In the ring and especially his backstage little bits as well. Mm. Push. Mitchin! Repackage out of the OC. They're still a thing. She yeah, had a, a match on SmackDown recently where Gallows and Addison walked out with her. She's having her best matches that I've ever seen because I've only really seen her. I've seen little bits of her Impact stuff, but more so her NXT stuff and her main roster stuff. The matches on SmackDown recently have been the best I've seen from her. So getting her away from those anchors mm. called the OC and doing something else, that'd be quite nice. Yeah, I'm leaning towards repackage or bench, um, but she has had great matches lately I'll say repackage is her own thing I'll say repackage as well I don't know if a 
bench, she takes all the pinfalls on SmackDown. Mm. I don't know if I don't know if a bench would potentially help her more, just getting her away from losing all the time. So bench then repackage. Yeah, I'll go bench, bench with then a view repackage, to repackaging. Then push. Yes, that's the way of the world. That's what we do. Let's do that for all of them. I remember, I remember well, me and Mitchin. I remember her in the May Young Classic thinking, "Oh, she's one of the front runners here," and it, that magic's never quite, it's never quite come back. And it's not her fault either. Nah. Ben, <laughs> it's a it's a bench. It's a harsh bench. Are you um, sure? I am sure because okay. you know she comes on the TV, she gets no reaction. Her and the, the tag team with Tegan is going nowhere. It looked like there was going to be a split up after the Royal Rumble because they eliminated each other, and then it just it did. They, Natalia liked that, so they stayed together because you know every woman for herself and all that. But she's obviously a good hand. The character's been there for that long. It just feels like you know a time away would do everyone a, a little bit. Well, her the best benefit mm. as well. Bench, then repackage. As what? Oh, I don't know. Bring back the fart gimmick. I was, didn't <laughs> want to say the fart gimmick. <laughs> I think... But maybe the fart gimmick. <laughs> I think Bench as well. But not get rid of Natalia, because her experience and everything, she's invaluable. I'm assuming she's a big mentor backstage to yeah, the yeah. women and stuff. But on screen, pairing Tegan, who's trying to be presented as like quite a cool, you know, punk, rocky, indie kind of wrestler with the most mam energy <laughs> of any <laughs> woman on the division. Yeah, bench, bench, bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Push, keep it going. Been on fire since she came back. Well, the first portion was a bit, but then the second portion of her return, she's been on fire, so keep it going. I think once she loses to Ripley, bench her for a bit. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa, I don't know why. No. I, just, and then you, I think you have her as just like someone that pops up every so often. The Omos of the women's division. Kind of. The Omar. <laughs> Uh, are you I'm a Naya, Naya Sapien, are you? I am. A, <laughs> I am a Jax specific. Uh, are you, are you a nihilist. A nihil nice. Yeah. Uh, I think just have a pop up every so often. I don't think she needs to be there all the time. I think if she's there all the time, it exposes her a bit. I think bench for now. I, I think after after Rhea batters her in Australia. I'll add a little bit onto Tom's. I'll say I'll say have a lose to Rhea, have a lose to Jade, and then bench. For a bit, but uh, but that's not a knock on her at all because she's been doing the best work of her career so far. Oh. We're nodding. Yeah, uh, come on, Joel. Come on, Joel. It's a total repackage for me on this. Well, let's say Sati, the most recent role that we saw. Did you see what she did on the show? Do you know when they're, they're filming the outside the room? Like, oh, we're here at the whatever arena. She was walking outside. She's the she's the female Joe Gacy. Yeah, she is. She's completely oh, directionless. Re, no, repackaged with Joe Gacy. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. And they can just wander. Just live in bins together. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think push. Because I want to see what they're doing. They've been doing it for over a year now where but she's been walking around backstage. But there has to be a reason. <laughs> like, there has to be. Because I'm intrigued yeah. by someone that's like, I think there was an episode of Raw maybe the week before where there was a match and they just sort of panned to the stage and you just saw her wandering across the stage. I really like it. I just want everyone to have a, a couple of days. All right, if you're in the creative and you watch this, I know I know you do. Um, maybe just have like an afternoon, brew a coffee and just go, right, let's just work on what we're going to do with with this one. Let's just do, let's work on that. I, I'd love it if you did. I think I was a huge fan of Nikki when she was in NXT, mm. doing all the hardcore stuff and everything. But I... I don't want to see her go away because it feels like she's barely around and then when she is, she's doing something weird. So I'll, I'll go repackage as well. But I still I still believe in Nikki Cross. How long ago was it when she was like, duh? <laughs> God, she's over there. I Hello, believe Nikki. How you doing? in Nikki. Um, how long ago was it when she was looking for like for the way? Like the Candice and Indy and all that oh, stuff. That, yeah. That's when this storyline started of her just looking for friends. What, what Was she doing this when she binned or missed the bin with the 24-7 belt? Nah, was different, was that before, different, different gimmick thing, that different was. Maybe a couple of weeks later. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It doesn't, to, to answer Tom's point when he said it has to make sense, in a perfect world, you're right. Yeah. But remember when Shelton Benjamin was smiling creepily for a while and then it never went anywhere? Just thinking yeah. about pie, wasn't it? He, oh, but, right. Oh, but we're creatively pie. in a different world now. We are, hopefully, yes. You know, yeah. so... Mm. Mm. No, Joel can't hey, them hey. Keep them going. All keep right, them Bob. I'm enjoying the tag team of the the, the, the Dudley boys in a different sort of way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> from oh, hey. from the Black Country. Yes. Um, so yeah, keep that going for a while, and then have them turn on each other and just have them redo Chicago all over again. It writes itself. I always thought that the Black Country was the West Midlands, but apparently it's a part of the West Midlands. It's part of the West. I think it's still part of the West. Midlands. Are you from there? I'm not from the Black Country. I'm from the West Midlands. But you're not from the. Black I'm country. not from the Black Country. Got you, got you, got you. Uh, I'm not from Black Country. But, uh, <laughs> but then neither's Pete. 
Right, oh, Ty- Tyler is. It's such a down. weird section of the country. Okay. Because you've got the you you've got Pete who's from the West Midlands. He's from Birmingham. Okay. Uh, and you've got Tyler Bay who's from the Black Country, which is kind of also in the West Midlands. They're not both from the Black Country. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. You sorry. live and learn. Don't but you? I like the name the Dudley Boys. <laughs> I'm all in on that. Even though he's not from Dudley, he'll, <laughs> he'll get over it. There's only a there's only a, a few miles of a road between them. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna even though I'm even though I'm glad he's got his name back and I'm glad that he's more. I, I mean, as we record this, he's got a tag team title shot and everything. But I'm gonna say repackage just because heel Pete Dunn to me is infinitely better than babyface Pete Dunn. Yeah. <laughs> Eo uh, Sky. Ross wasn't just laughing at Eo Sky. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like she popped up and you went, ah, oh, way! <laughs> no, she's a, I don't know what she's I'm saying. She's got the belt, haven't she? She has got the belt. Yeah, I'm going to say. Oh, because it's. <laughs> Well, I could have a reaction to it. Any noise there? Any noise? Any noise would have done, apart from that one. Because um, uh, certain sections of the internet would really agree with you there. It's, she's, she's a very popular lady, apparently. Analysis, right? Her title reign has been subdued. Ah. So to say push and continue what she's doing would feel a little bit wrong. Yeah. So does that make it a repackage? I think once she loses the belt, I think bench. Mm. Just to let her reset mm. and then come back stronger after a little while. As you say, it has been a bit subdued. The right thing is to have Bailey beat her, uh, and then. Give your sky a bit of time off, and then bring her back with a new direction. Yeah, yeah. Ma- have her, haven't her like have matches against Asuka and uh, mm. Kyrie. Oof. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not going to make that noise again, but that's you know. It would be fantastic. <laughs> I'll say bench as well. I agree with Tom's point. Paper, Paper. Nevan. I'm going to say repackage out the tag team with Chelsea, even though it's working. I think Chelsea can be her own Karen by herself because it feels like Chelsea just takes all the attention away from Piper, and then Piper does a big imp- impressive move. And like, oh yeah, she is good. So getting away from Chelsea on her own, having to be the better Nia Jax because that's what she is. That's kind of what she is, isn't she? <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm going to agree. I think a repackage uh, and something a bit more sinister, but st- a bit not, not dissimilar to what she does now. Yeah. I like that she plays into sort of the comedy. She's a, she's a funny woman, and I like that we embrace that. She's a delightful woman, but she's also a monster. So we want something that kind of complements all those things. So repackage is the way to go. I would. I haven't got any more to add. I agree with Tom. Repackage. Yeah. Adrenaline. Repackage. Yeah, my <laughs> Bring back Stardust. Stardust. <laughs> now, push him. He might have him win a match or two at WrestleMania weekend. Maybe one. Maybe that one on the Sunday. Have him win that one. Oh, maybe. Yeah. He's the guy in he's Push. Yeah. Keep keep going. He's your he's your, your flag bearer. He's your standard bearer. He's the trademark of the company. Go. Yeah. Go, push. Go, 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 go. A lot of people have been saying that he's WWE have always been looking for the next Hulk Hogan, the next John Cena, and then he's fallen into their laps and they've not taken advantage of it, which. If they don't, by this WrestleMania, will go down as like one of the biggest booking misfires ever. So it's 100% push. 100%. 100%. Push! Oh, yeah! We're going to get... Right, well, aw- Awesome Truth are going to win the tag team titles at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to say. So I'm good for that. That's a push. Keep him doing what he's doing. It's been good. It won't get old. He doesn't get old, so it won't get old. Do we have our truth with Money in the Bank this year? <laughs> that might be too far. Is it though? <laughs> because I like and all lols aside, he is a daft character, but he has history of being a guy that could potentially upset a lot of people. <laughs> he eliminated Mark Henry and the big show in the same rumble at the same time. <laughs> then he beat up Shawn Michaels and John Cena for a bit. He's headlined a pay-per-view with his childhood hero, John Cena. He's he's got legitimate love from the fans and the locker room. Why not put him in a in a position where he could potentially steal the world title? I guess he it, might not, but let's have some fun with that. It is the exact opposite to a sort of priest money in the bank reign, isn't it? Yeah. Then, I don't think people are on board with priest cashing in and winning the title, but they would be on board. Oh, for, if you compare now to when Priest won the money in the back, it feels like the main eventers are further away from him yeah. now and it would feel wrong almost it's if he won it. It's as if they should have given it to LA Knight. Because everyone wanted that, didn't right. they? Didn't well, they, Paul? Paul um, Triple H Levesque? The story never ends. LA Knight might win it next <laughs> year. I'll go for, yeah, a continued push. Um, I think I, this might be controversial. I think they're slightly mishandling this Judgment Day storyline because they're having him beat him up every week. Mm. I think if they'd held off... And, and had them do a bit of a Sami Zayn bloodline kind of thing and then turned on him on the eve of WrestleMania. <laughs> um, that would have been more dramatic. But, you know, our truth continues to knock it out of the park. It's a push from me. Push. Repackage yeah. your bench doesn't apply. 
Push. Yeah, he's, he's push. Randy Orton. Keep, yeah. Him, keep him going. Yeah, he had a promo on this week's SmackDown where he just laid out, like, um, yeah, all he had to all the only thing he had to work off was, I've got this match with Sami Zayn, and if I win, I'm in the Elimination Chamber. And even with such little material to work with, he still made a compelling promo. Um, it's, Rand, it's Randy Orton. It's Does Randy it Orton. Him? That's Randy Orton. Repackage to a lady with a character and not just a smiley lady with muscular back. Because yes. she is a fantastic wrestler, but it's just the smile and the muscular back. There needs to be a little bit more. Bring back Big Mammy Cool. Mm. Yeah. Motorcycles, chaps, the lot. I think pair Repackage. her with the wolf dogs and have her be part of their group. <laughs> the wolf dog back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's, it's in, this is maybe the easiest repackage of them all so far. Push. Yeah. Continue. Oh, You've got... Oh. Good morning, Mother. Oh, oh good morning, Mother. I thought you were going to say one second, lads, no, on my no. bencher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I think I think you keep on keeping on. Good morning, Mother. I keep I, saying push. I think if Becky beats her at WrestleMania, it'll be a weird decision. I think it'll be booze. Yeah. Mm, oh, I, everyone will be on the booze when Becky wins. <laughs> no, it will, I think Becky would get booed if she beat her, yeah. yeah. Do you just have Rhea just hold the belt longer than Hogan? Yeah. Until just for a, our laugh. Yeah, yeah. Until there's a challenger who's on her level. Yeah. Which I know her and Becky are probably the top two, but then after that, we're like, we down the, 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 the But the longer, every week, as week goes by, like Rhea's level goes up and up and up and up yeah. and up, yeah. and it gets nigh on impossible to catch up with her. Especially yeah. with um, two world titles in the women's division. Mm. Why not have Rhea continue, just carry on and on and on? Yeah. Push. I'm yeah. enjoying the will he, won't he have a match at WrestleMania storyline. Mm. Does that hint at a, sh a shock opponent? I don't know. Oh. He's just walking around backstage at WrestleMania. He's like, aha, you haven't got a match, sir. Let's duel. Oh, let's go. That's what Samuel say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there must be something in the works. I didn't think of that. He's, good... he's doing the, the, um, the competitor sort of thing. The, he's not an underdog anymore, he's, but he hasn't got a road to WrestleMania. Feels like they're knocking him down before building them back up again. You know, yeah. mate, you know who may also be without an opponent for WrestleMania? Who's that, Tom? Kevin Owens. You oh. can't do that again, can you? You can, can you? Oh, you definitely you can't, can't, yeah. can't you? Um, <laughs> who's to say they don't have the same thing to feed on what you said? The idea of them just both going, we've never fought each other at WrestleMania. Mm. Let's fight a WrestleMania. 37 they did, didn't they? What? The one with the pirate ship? Did they? Yeah. Was that them? Didn't they? Oh, Kevin and Sammy? Well, they can do it oh. again. We haven't fought twice at WrestleMania. <laughs> um, I they think... did, actually. You're correct. <laughs> Logan Paul was involved. Yeah, he was. I had the yeah. story. Oh, yeah. yes, of course. Story never ends. I reckon push, but I, I, I like Ross's idea of giving him a, a, a like a mystery showcase kind of opponent at Mania. Um, maybe. No. A oh, card? Yeah, he jumped in. <laughs> I was I was gonna say, say, it's a shame they didn't get him just for that storyline alone, just that match alone. Yes, I mean, Sammy was the one who faced Nakamura when he came in. Mm. It would be a similar New Japan legend coming in. No, yeah, push. Mm. <sighs> it's mm. a repackage, but I don't know what to because I just, obviously, we know he's fantastic at wrestling. He does stuff other people can't do, but it's everything else. It's just really bland for me. Mm. So something else. A little bit of sparse. I think bench him for a bit for that mm. reason. He is currently, isn't he? <laughs> let's, let's keep him there. I think repackage him as the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> Send him back to New Japan. Uh, no, I, I always like feel bad whenever Ricochet is in the ring and does something amazing. I think, oh yeah, of course he's a freak athlete and amazing, but it's not. It's it's just he hasn't been able to pick up steam. So it, it's a repackage. Yeah. <laughs> bench. Oh. Fall and bench. He hasn't really had that many matches since the final testament became a thing. Mm. But the segment so far, the entrance is the best part. And that's not the change from what it was before. His entrance was the best part before the final testament. And it's still the same now. I feel bad because he's not doing, in my eyes, he's not doing anything wrong. But he's just not landing. Yeah. I just, I, I, I'd be, I, I'd be so anxious in my stomach if I was having like a one-on-one -on -one meeting backstage with Carrie and Cross to go through character. I'm going, man, I don't want to tell you. Like you, <laughs> you've, it's, it's all right. It's just not working. Yeah, it's so weird. It's not really his fault, but it seems like he's doing. For me, it feels like he's trying to be too many different types of heels at once. Like he's the spooky heel, but he's the medicine heel, but he's the heel with a valet, and I, I just. I don't know what the solution is. Because for I, me, like the ultimate carrying cross was the walking Armageddon carrying cross okay. in NXT when like all the smoke was around the ring during the, the Keith, match. The Keith Lee feud. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Because then after that feud, it was like Adam Cole and Gargano going, you're rubbish, you. You're not an indie boy like You're not us. an indie boy. You yeah. can't do your kicks with your, your thigh slaps and that, mm. you. you crap, you. And then it's not got right since then. No. Because nah. imagine looking like him and having Scarlet on your arm and still not working. I know. <laughs> it's mad. <laughs> on a poster, it looks like it should work. I don't. It's so weird. Maybe 
It's either a repackage or a bench. Maybe bench him for a what? No, because he's being benched. Yeah. Repackage then. It'll have to be repackaged. I just don't know what has. I don't know the answer. Me neither. Mm. Not our problem, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Keep it going. Not too hard of a push, but keep it going because it's compelling stuff all the same. Yeah, push. Bench. Oh. Just a little rest. That's your lady, isn't it? it? Oh, this joke's been going on for about <laughs> how long? Story never ends. About, yeah, seven years strong. I don't even know what the story was. I just remember your name being synonymous on, on, with Becky Lynch. On one video, one time, I went, oh, she's got nice arms. <laughs> seven years Seven years later. Got the covered up there. Should have picked a different picture. No, I, um, <laughs> no, I, I think what it really was was that I think I, I think I bought into Becky before she was cool. And I was like, she can do it, guys. And everyone was like, no, she can't. <laughs> and somehow it worked. It paid off. And I was right. But um, I'm still going to say Bench. Because, well, I just think she's she'll have she's always going to be over whenever she's there. So why not? Give her some time with her kid. Yeah. Well, that's Aww. nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Push. Yeah. Push him harder. Yeah. He's the better Austin Theory. He proves that every single week when they're together on screen. Just push him. Absolute push. I've got a bone to pick with um, Joel and whoever else was there when we watched the Royal Rumble. Because was it, it was PSU. Oh, he's got the mic. Oh, here he comes. And uh, Aiden. And Aiden. Yeah. Just Aiden how was... quickly Joel picked up the mic. Oh, there. he was ready. He was on. Like, it. he was like, I think you've, you've, you've got too much power now with that mic. Oh, oh, I, I, regret, I regret plugging that in. <laughs> it's all you. Yeah. It's all you. <laughs> um, well, when we were watching the Royal Rumble, I think Warner was like number three out. Yeah. And I was the only one who cheered. Out of all the lads mm-hmm. there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was yeah. the start of soon before, <laughs> so you, before you could even see him. I was probably the only one who recognized, say so, say so, push him. He's he's amazing, Joel. He's amazing. <laughs> Just gets it, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember going, yes! No one in the room joined in. Or maybe he's, he's, just, <laughs> he's that effective of a heel that yeah. you know, a true yeah, wrestling purist like Joel, like <laughs> boo, boo the bad guy. <laughs> push them. This storyline of the Women's Tag Team Championships being cursed by a pair of witches has not been followed up on and it needs to be followed up on. Mm. Definitely. I think push them as well. Yeah. I think repackage them. To what? I don't know. Oh, no, they, they got together because they feuded with each other. I was going to say have them feud against each other, but they've already done that. Yeah. Isla turned Alba into a witch. She did. Because right, of a, a viscous substance in a cauldron. I think you're, I'll change what, <laughs> I think you're right then, push, because... You're right. They, they had all the vignettes and that, but mm-hmm. it never. It was empty threats. It, it was, was empty. Hmm. They popped out of a present over Christmas. I thought, right, we're going. <laughs> and now we're sat here in February. And it hasn't got going. Yeah. yeah. Aside on that, uh, I think Isla Dor. I think Isla Dor's uncle. You know, I might be wrong on this. Posted on Twitter. <laughs> what? Be, be, you know, because because it was it was. I think it was reported that there was like Isla Dor's uncle or someone like that because they shared a picture of Isla Dor's graphic. Uh, in the new WWE game and he just put a comment saying can't wait to put my niece in an ambulance <laughs> <laughs> which is the new Rey Mysterio can't wait to go home and beat my kids <laughs> when he got the game when he got 2K13 I really got excited because I thought you were going to say her uncle was like some like Billy Connolly or something I was like oh who's it going to be imagine? yeah I think push them they're great I, I, I like the, the the witches of Eastwick type thing it's yeah. great and the, and the cursing the belt is great as well like you, you, you had a lovely vignette to talk about that, and then you never really followed up on it. I think I'm going to change my answer. I'm going to push Isla, repackage Kaylee Ray, because I preferred Kaylee Ray when she was like a scuzzy rave. Lass. Charver. She could be the heel, like the villain to the Cowie Girls, and show. I'll show Just you how to really all party. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have you ever heard her theme music in ICW? Yeah, yeah. just the. Dun, 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 yeah. yeah. Look at that. Currently, she's, she's injured. Currently benched, yeah, but on return, s- ha- a slight repackage. We saw one segment on a SmackDown not too long ago where she was backstage with Shotzi and she was just being a nice lady. And it was clear that that's the real Charlotte Flair and not the one that's presented on TV that a lot of people came to resent because she was pushed too hard. Have it be that wholesome Charlotte Flair that was in that segment with Shotzi. I think we package her as a heel. Oh, I think she's the she is a brilliant heel. She is the whole when she's a when she's a baby face. The whole reason why you say make her a more wholesome one. She's a baby face. She's like the I'm the best wrestler ever. <laughs> and it's crap. And people don't want to cheer her. They want to boo her because mm. she's, you know, lean into the whole entitled mm. family legacy, constantly pushed, given everything you want. Lean into it. Embrace it. Make her a heel. I want to boo her. Have her be the Rick of a female evolution. Yes. Oh, let's let's book it now. All right. Charlotte's the Rick. So we need we need Bianca's the Triple H. (laughs) (laughs) Good because she's the best as well. She's the NXT. Need a couple of up and comers. 
Um, right. Cowie girls. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy Nile's not the right type of character. She, she, she's too gritty. She could be Batista. She could be she could be, yeah, could yeah. be Batista, Batista, yeah. We've nearly done it. We just need so Orton. So we need an Orton. Who's the Orton of the women's For, division today? Who is the Orton of the women's division? Ask her. Tiffy Strats. Tiffy Strats Tiffy works. Strats. Not as bratty. Ooh. Yeah, actually, because then, then Tiffy Strats and Charlotte, mm. there's a thing there, isn't there? Wow. We're, there you go. We're, right we're, it. Wow, we're really good. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> In the words of Dwayne. So good, aren't yeah. we? Well done, everybody. Dragon Lee Lee stinks away, and he is a moron. <laughs> That's a Lee Mack reference. I don't actually think that way about it. Uh, I'm going to say get him on the main roster and keep him on the main roster, which I guess is kind of a push because he's flirting between NXT and the main roster. He has a couple of good showings on SmackDown, and he's back to NXT. Just get him on the main roster. I don't know what to do with him on the main roster, but he is good. Yeah, I think push. Mm. I think push as well. When me and Ross watched uh, NXT Vengeance Day on the live stream, we both agreed that... The, his match with Obafemi shouldn't have been as even as it was, but that's nothing against Dragon Lee. It was just because Obafemi's such a monster at the minute and needs to win Ooh. more decisively. But Dragon Lee, I agree, get him away from NXT, excuse me, where he's the one taking the falls and have him picking up some victory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want victory. The coffee's hit. I don't know what's going on. Repackaged, because obviously currently he's doing Nout, but there was a, a, fi- a fair few weeks a little while ago where he was having matches on Raw. I thought it was at SmackDown. I think it was SmackDown. Okay. And he was doing well, but it just they needed a bit of a character there mm. for Cedric. Tag team mm. with Ashanti the Adonis. Ooh. Hasn't there been... Was there a picture of them going around yeah, recently? Yeah, as yeah. a tag team. Yeah. And Ashanti the Adonis went to Nick Aldis's office and said, I want to prove myself. And he went, I've got something in mind. And a very like quivering voice, three though, months wasn't it? later. <laughs> I believe in myself, yeah. Nick. I would like you to push me. Uh, I think <laughs> out re- the window. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I think re- repackage Cedric as yeah. well. Yeah. He is good, though. He is good. Push him. Uh, Best character on TV today. He for me. is having a ball, isn't he, at the moment? Justified our boy Drew. Arsenal. It's fantastic. Yep. I wouldn't have believed it if a few months ago you'd said, oh, Seth's opponent at WrestleMania is going to be Drew again. I'd have gone, oh, no. But now. And do you think he's the favourite to win Elimination Chamber currently? He, sh- he should be. We don't know all the entrants at the minute, but yeah. yeah. It should be him and Seth, and he should win. If Seth is defending the world title at WrestleMania, and because and, there's obviously rumour and innuendo about a tag match, if he's defending the world title, it should be against Drew. He should lose well, to Drew. He could, he could have the... Would they put both world title matches on night two? They could do. They might have to if they're having a yeah. tag match on, on night one. And then Seth's got an excuse for losing because he was tired. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, push, and push. And he costs Cody in the main <laughs> event. What's that video I did the other day that made everybody cross? <laughs> Way! Oh, Way! Lads! I'm going to say a repackage straight away because they're big medicine boys. We're all going, Way! Look at them! <laughs> <laughs> so it's not working. Oh, uh, I want it to work so bad, but I'll uh, bench them for a bit and then bring them back after. Yeah. Um, I think re. Oh, that's so. That was gonna sound stupid. No, I'll do it. Repackage them as fun baby faces, <laughs> and they can go up against the AOP. Cowie boys, yeah, if the you will. boys, <laughs> and they can go up against the AOP and just run into each other. Oh, nice! Yeah. That'd be a fun night. <laughs> what, just four, four, just going <laughs> just one, oh, just the one night, but all no, night, all night. Yeah, that match. Whoop, bah, all that three whoop, hours whoop. of raw. <laughs> just bang. That would be a super collision. It would. <laughs> <laughs> finishing move in. Uh, keep him going push him, push him. yeah push. he's very good yeah, it's easy one got Enjoying his lackeys him. now as well mm-hmm. he's got his lackeys now as well yeah. oh yes the kissing cousins the former shagging cousins yeah mm-hmm. yeah they just kiss now the celibate cousins <laughs> <laughs> he was bending a frying pan on Indian television recently it's oh. Braun Strowman everybody What's who's he? had his hair plugged back in as well I saw on his Instagram the other day so mm. fair play to him he won't look like that when he comes back uh, why would you not want to look like that though I don't know yeah Carrion what... Cross made this mistake He's got a good shaped head, hasn't he? He just looks hard as balls. Lovely, lovely curve on the top there. I mean, he'll look hard with hair as well. I don't know why I'm pretending that it, <laughs> with hair, you're like, I'm not scared of him. Yeah, yeah. So suddenly he shrinks four foot, <laughs> yeah. four foot once he's got some hair on him. Yeah, just have him do brawn stuff when he goes back. Uh, bring him back to 2018 Strowman where he's pushing over big things and yeah. being stupid. That was Push the best it. one, yeah. Again, keep him as a special attraction. Oh. Don't use him all the time. There's a few people on this roster that you don't need to have constantly in the loop. You mm. just bring them in. You've got you've got Omos, you've got Braun, you've mm. got Nia Jax in my world, where they just come in, have these have these big matches, and maybe you know be a special attraction, put over some of the younger talent, move on, we go. My and then Braun's world, one of them. <laughs> you said my world. I was ah, ah. My total non-stop asshole friend, Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. Push him, by the way. 
Um, I'm gonna right. This is a push to mania and then a bench after mania. Yeah. I think the more serious Seth Rollins that we've seen recently has been far better than them. Look at my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that better than that guy who sounds a bit like Dan Housen apparently. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting him back to sort more not like if he needs to be a heel, he needs to be a heel. But the sort of 2015 more serious Seth Rollins, I think, would be a good way to go now. Uh, his body has carried the company, but his body's knackered, so his mouth is carrying a lot of promos now. God love him. Let him have a sleep, Ben. <laughs> I agree with the... After WrestleMania, yeah. But I really... After Mania, I yeah. saw a lot of people saying that out at the press conference, at the Mania kickoff press conference, they were like, Seth looked like a loser. Why is he... And I thought, no, I enjoyed it. I he, thought he, was, he played was a good role. He was a bit like... Yeah, he was... I think the whole purpose was he was very much Homer disappearing into the hedge whilst yeah. the other lads talked but about then their he match. jumped in to help Cody. I thought, yeah, that's pretty good. But I think that's part of a bigger story. Well, you <laughs> certainly do. <laughs> yeah. Why would you not trust him? Just Tom it? does. He's never betrayed, mm. any, never betrayed anyone. Look at that picture. That is a he, man that has he, never betrayed anyone ever. Does he look untrustworthy? <laughs> 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 hey, the way that's aced, it was a good turn, to be fair, because Roman mm. is an arse. And yeah. He clearly saw that before everybody else did. Yeah, true. You know what? If he turns at Mania, I'm going to have to move house. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I did that video. I'm gonna have to move out. Oh, I thought you meant just because you'd feel so sad. You'd have no, to no. I, th I think I think I'd have people hunting me down. What for being right? <laughs> yeah, for being right and, and handsome and kind. Oh, I see. <laughs> push. <laughs> yes. Push yeah. Her. Get her back. Not the vampire, but the, you know the the, the Kavalka of 2020, Shayna Baszler, and yeah. the NXT Shayna Baszler. Yeah, I agree. Push. I love. I loved when she beat Ronda Rousey. I thought, well, obviously now the 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 MMA. You know, limb breaker is going to be Shayna Baszler, and they just went. Mm. Nah. And she got put in a tag team with someone she feuded with, and then they got fed to Nia Jax upon her return. Yeah, so what was said the, the first part of Nia Jax's return was bad. The second part's been quite was good. Was that as started? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, push her. Yeah, push him. Push him. Yeah. One more shot at the IC title. Why the hell not? I want him to be the one to win. Yeah. I don't know whether it, I. Do you know what? I'm. I'm this is the problem when you have these these beautifully long title reigns. It makes the decision on who ends them mm. far more difficult. Yeah. And while Sheamus absolutely, there's a great story to tell there. He's never won the IC title. He's the guy that beats Gunter. Is there, is there someone else that we could make a star through doing it? Well, it Chad like, Gable. Because oh. he's a star regardless. Mm. But he wants it. I mean, once he can still win it. Have you seen that trophy it? cabinet in his house? There's one shelf empty. Uh. What if somebody <laughs> new wins it and beats Gunter, but then it's Seamus, bad guy Seamus, that hoofs their head off and goes, uh, mine now. I don't want to boo Seamus, but that would be good though. Yeah, he's good mm. to get, he's good I'm, to boo. I'm going, so you're going to repackage? I'm going to repackage as a heel, Seamus. I'm, I'm going to say a special attraction push upon his return. Nice. Go, yeah. Say, yeah, I'll say sap as well, yeah. Special attraction push. Seamus <laughs> sap. Mm. Mm. Repackage because mm. currently he's lost that many big feuds and big matches on Raw and stuff like that that his words are empty. Mm. Excuse me, his words are fantastic, but his words are now empty. For that reason, I say bench. Mm. Give him a little break. I'm gonna say Let's miss him. I'm gonna say bench as well. But I think when he comes back, they could do. You know, they've been doing with the CMLL guys in AW. I think it would be, but it feels like they're just kind of. They've not built enough of them. Like, they've not introduced us to many of them. I don't yeah. know if there's been stuff on their YouTube or whatever. But if they could sign some more ex-New Japan guys, just on a whim, <laughs> just bring them in. <laughs> they could have, like, Nakamura with Dragon Lee, maybe with Tamatonga if he comes over. Have a little faction. I think that'd be good. Mm. But bench for now. Have them go on a scouting mission. Oh, no, she's just been injured. Has she? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we were talking about on the news this morning. At time of recording, we don't know the severity of the injury. Mm. Um, we wish her all the best regardless. Um, let's look at this in the event that the, it's a good case scenario and it's not too bad an injury and she should be back soon. Yeah. It was in a match with Lyra Valkyrie. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's the last I heard of it. Was she was getting a title shot and then she turned up. It was during the tapings, apparently, yeah. Oh, dear mm. me. It wasn't like on this week's episode, I don't think, but yeah. So when she's back fit, I'm going to say a soft repackage to lose the... And be more humanized. Okay. Because <laughs> still keep the crazy, but not so crazy that you're thinking, oh, I'm a bit embarrassed to watch this lady walk down the ramp. See, I like the tank stuff. I don't want the to lose tank's all good, that. But the tank's yeah, oh, good. But the, yeah, the the little lad off uh, the wild form. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's it called? Oh, Voiced by Flea off Darwin. The... No, Darwin was the Darwin was the monkey, monkey yeah. Oh, oh God. God. I'm going to find out. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going to say a soft repackage as well then. Like, just, just to tweak her general persona. Donnie. Donnie. Donnie off the wild thornberries. Uh, a general, like, tweak her, tweak her persona, but keep the tank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord, keep the tank. I, I agree with you, too. Oh. Speaking of tanks. 
It's a soft repackage for me. <gasps> Have him be NXT solo Sokoa, because this main roster, Mute, is not all that he can be. Mm. I think he's... When Roman... When? If Roman loses the belt, he's the next stop for Roman Reigns. Mm. I'm going to say push. I mean, I remember that. I really enjoyed his match with John Cena more than I thought I would. Yeah. And I just want to see that. Him just... They've done nothing since, though, have they? No, it's mad, yeah. Imagine, right, if in the on the road to WrestleMania, you have Roman just just bad mouthing Solo, getting annoyed, getting getting ratty with everyone, especially Solo. And in that moment at WrestleMania, when Solo comes down to help him, Solo looks at him <laughs> and walks away. <laughs> crowd will go wild for that because there'll be that dread, won't there? Then he'll walk away, and the oh, crowd will love it. I think they P- might. Thank you, Solo. Clap, 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 clap. I think they might do that because yeah. they've they've planted the seed of. When we see Solo, we're like, here comes the finish, here comes the... When we see that that black hoodie, we're like, oh, no. So, yeah, maybe that'll Push. Be yeah, push, push. Push. I'm on the revenge tour. I'm on the revenge bus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also on the revenge bus. Can we all do it? How does she look really graceful doing it? We look awkward. I look like I've super glued me hand to me face. <laughs> How does she get her arm that low and yet... Uh, push, push, Liv Morgan. I was genuinely. She must not have a neck. <laughs> I was genuinely. That's good. <laughs> I, I was genuinely excited when she came back at the Royal Rumble. I was like, yes, it's Liv Morgan. And um, she's just got that je ne sais quoi, mm. doesn't she? That va va voom. She's good at the little things, i.e., being a character. And also the ladder things. Yeah. Jumping ladder. off ladders. Absolutely. Mm. There's a push. Push. Push the man <laughs> is the spiritual successor to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> have him beat Logan Paul at WrestleMania, then have him beat Dwayne at SummerSlam. Forget, oh! about, forget about Cody. Oh! Have him come down in that red Kavorka, baby, and spitch slap Dwayne around like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Does he then get The Rock's music and the eyebrow and the, eyebrow. And the elbow? He just takes a little pen knife to the, to the scalp of The Rock, removes the eyebrow, stitches it to his own head. <laughs> Makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, push, keep him going. Yeah, he's great. Push. Yeah. Oh, hello. <sighs> it's okay. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, push him. Yeah. You mean, yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on. Not then. everybody's saying push. Yeah, no, I am. I you am seem like push. you seem like you have been uh, well, I've become bullied like, into saying push. I've become less enthusiastic about LA Knight since the match in Saudi Arabia against Roman, but mm. I think that you're right. I think a Logan Paul feud would probably be the answer and be the remedy. So, yeah, put, it is a push. Oh, I think you push Ivar as a meat planet, and the other two <laughs> need something done to them. No, Eric's got that good knee. He just sounds bored though, doesn't he? When he's cutting his promos, is that I am a Viking for some reason? <laughs> Hello, Ma- Matthew specifies every week on the podcast. He goes, "Well, Eric's not been around for a while, but he'll go like he has uh, Valhalla and Eric uh, and Ivar the Viking. Ivar the Viking, just in case we forgot <laughs> that he's a Viking." Um, <laughs> And he calls her Valerie Haller, doesn't he, as well? That's mine. Oh, that's yours. Valerie, Valerie. Haller. Your, but Matthews is Ivar the Viking. Though. Yeah, Ivar yeah. the Viking. Um, is it as opposed to Ivar the Engine? Oh. Who's Ivar the Engine? It's, it's a cartoon from the past. <laughs> That'll be knowing Matthew, <laughs> Ivar the who engine. likes cartoons and is from the past. <laughs> um, I'll say... <sighs> bench for a bit. No, because Ivar's been doing well recently, hasn't he? Go on, push them. But just not... Just never make them comedy ever, nah, ever, because I hated that. Things. Yeah, I say push as well. Mm. Meet like, Planet Division. That should be a staple on that left, right hand side Planet of that picture. Division. Yeah. Hmm. Have you seen this man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where he is? He's on a bench in a distant galaxy, far, <laughs> far away. I don't know what you do. I guess it's a repackage because currently, whatever they have him like earmarked as on the you know on the, on the list of superstars, it's it's not worthy of being on TV for some reason. Mm, but I like the gimmick though. So do I, the I silent like, assassin type. Yeah. yeah, he's like the boogeyman. He terrifies heels. He's not like the boogeyman. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> he, he plays that role. I'll I'll say repackage him as a heel. Imagine how terrifying he would be. Yeah, because that stuff where they had him pop him up in the crowd. Yeah. While it did get a little bit old, it, at the start it was working. That scene yeah. at the Miz's house, mm. it worked. Who could he? <laughs> who who's a babyface who he could feud with without? Like it, like, it wouldn't work against, like, Orton, for example. He's too cool to be scared of. 
Gargano. He turns on his father-in-law. Yeah. Oh. I think people would be on board the way that Johnny Gargano would sell that. Yeah, yeah. Ah! yeah. And then someone like <laughs> Kofi and Xavier maybe would sell it well, wouldn't mm. they? Well, Xavier Wood said previously when he was scared of the Wyatt family. That was an odd... It never got followed up on, did it? He just became a good wrestler after that. <laughs> he started ro- walking on the ropes <laughs> and stuff. Hey, repackage. Yeah, I'll it? say repackage slightly, but not too much because I like the whole thing. I guess we do the push. I don't, I mean, I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah, repackage as, well, push as a tag team with Cedric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> heel turn. Repackage, I guess that is then. Needs to be a heel. Needs to get the old theme back if they can do that. I don't know if they can because of the laws and all that sort of stuff. The laws. <laughs> um, but yeah, having him as a baby face makes no sense to me, so. Get yeah, he's heel. far better as a heel, so repackage. Yeah, he is. I don't know... Whether there's... Who would he feud with as a heel? It would have to be someone lower down. All of them. Just spit the apple in the face, go home. Yeah. Job done. Okay, then. <laughs> I agree. Repackage. <clears throat> Ooh, this probably... might just be my personal preference, but I'm ready for a heel turn. Oh, really? I'm, my body's ready. But I find him so genuine and like. I know he is the modern day Mick Foley, and like he's just the everyday man who can do supernatural things. Mm. Not supernatural, superhuman things. Mm. Uh, but I'm ready for it. I just remember the halcyon days of 2015, Kevin Owens and think, yeah. I like to say that again under a Triple H regime. You know what? Here's a thought: repackage, post Mania, maybe a feud with Cody, mm. and kept with Kev as a heel over the WWE title. Yeah, that would be really good. They, there'd be so much material in promos, like their different paths to where they are and everything. Oh, I made you friends with the Young Bucks. Mm. Mm, yeah, you wouldn't God. be here without me, son. That's, That's Kevin ex- Owens talking. Apparently, <laughs> That's exactly what they do. Do you remember I'm... that time in Indie Fed? <laughs> yes, I remember that time in that Indie piss Fed. Company. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say push because I was, I'll probably always want Owens to be pushed, but you've, you've swayed. Which one of you came up with that idea there? Sorry. I don't know. It was a bit, it was a I said repackage and feud with Cody. I agree with that. So yes, <laughs> there we go. Oh, keep on keeping on. I would say, so I guess that's a soft push there. A soft push. Yeah, I think push. I think push him to, because I think Rhea could go on like a baby face run. So I think, if she does that and spend, is currently spending more and more time away from the Judgment Day, make him like start to be a bit more domineering and a bit of a Roman Reigns of the Judgment Day. I don't know what the solution is with the Money in the Bank briefcase, though. I don't I'll think say, he's going to win the title, is he? No, but then how do you protect him from not looking really stupid when he doesn't? Because, I mean, Theory looks stupid, Corbin looks stupid. Have Rhea get involved somehow, I guess. She runs the Judgment Day. He yeah. thinks he runs the Judgment Day. They both think they run the Judgment Day. Then have them have a match against each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what's, what could Rhea do to the briefcase, and he tries to cash in, but it's full of Vegemite. What's going on? Because <laughs> uh, that's an Australian... It explodes <laughs> out I think Vegemite. Vegemite's an Australian thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Um, is it just Marmite? I think so, yeah. All right. Similar to Marmite. Um, push. Do you have him mm. maybe... Maybe if you don't have a world title match at Mania, you get around it by, after the tag match, Priest cashes in on Seth and wins the world title. Wait. If they lose the tag belts in the opening night, opening of night one, maybe he cashes in on Seth during the tag match. In, during the tag match? It would just be strange for that. Or maybe at the end of the tag match. I just want that match to be. It's, I don't know. I don't want. I want it to exist separate from the rest of the peasants on the roster. <laughs> it would. <laughs> that would peasants. get. I think that would get a loud reaction. To it be would, fair, for would. priests getting if, them booed out the building. If Seth maybe takes the pin or whatever after a spear and a rock bottom, so he's paggered, and then Priest comes out to capitalize. He'd be silly if he didn't. Quite yeah, frankly, yeah, he's been so silly recently. There's yeah. been so many times when Seth's been down and out. Push them. Barely scratched yeah. the surface yet. We, with we hadn't even touched the sides, have we, yeah. with the pride yet? Yeah, push don't, them. Don't skip yet, Joel. I saw the cursor move into the next one. I'm going to say repackage, because I want my old Street Profits back. The old Street Profits. <laughs> dancing, the red paper cups. Dancing. Red but paper cups. suits well. now. Don't care about the suits. Ted has got his reality show. They're grown up now. No, I didn't They're know all grown up <laughs> now. And I'm listening, learning. Um, yeah, pair them with Steph. And say, <laughs> no, um... I I want them on their own again. And then I want Triple H to follow up on that. Do you remember when he was just little rumblings of discontent when they lost to the Usos? I want that to be followed up on as well. So I'll go repackage. Push. Oh, yeah. push them. Push them hard. Push yeah. them. Ro- roll them up in the balls and push them. Yeah. Bruti bomb. A yeah. Julius Brutus WrestleMania main event might be in our lifetime. <laughs> 
Seriously, like not now, but oh. many years in the future. What are they going to do at WrestleMania? Because it, it looks like the Awesome Truth are going to be in the top. I think it'll be another tag team like last year. Just hide the tag teams in and have a good time. Do you remember that Angelo yeah. Dawkins and Braun Strowman? Yeah. WrestleMania they, Showcase. Especially match. if they win. Mm. They should win some sort of... They should win at Mania, whatever they do. Give us a tag team gauntlet, have them mm. start and beat and everybody. Finish. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Push. Repackage. Okay. Bland is out. Blandy, blandy, bland, bland. Is Hanging around with a mother too long. Blandy Blandberg there. <laughs> um, yeah, she's just fan- fantastic wrestler. Easily likable when she's booked correctly. But the minute with Natalia, we were saying earlier, it's just it's. it's I feel nothing. Yeah, repackaged purely to make her a single star again. Yeah. Get her away from Natalia. Not that I'm sure Natalia has tried her best, but it, it's not a natural fit for me. They're though. a bit. They're a bit of a sexless marriage, aren't they? It's really <laughs> odd. Of a team in the sense that there's no real, like... Goodness gracious. <laughs> there's no real fire there. Right. <laughs> and there should be. And as as the cousins taught us, all tag teams should... Have, have a sexful yeah, yeah, yeah. marriage. Yeah, yeah, they should, definitely. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, a re, it's a repackage for me. <sighs> well, he's winning the tag titles at Mania, we've established. He is, yeah. But that's more because of our trues momentum as opposed to his own. And he is doing well as a baby face, he which is, feels yeah. weird because it didn't work the first time, but it is working the second time. Um, I guess keep on keeping on because the ma- large majority are liking the awesome truth stuff together, aren't mm. they? So I guess a, a soft push. Push. I wouldn't mind benching the Miz for a while. Uh, I haven't got a follow-up to that. <laughs> point. Because I really like him, but I, I don't want to turn him heel. But at the minute, it's ne- his stuff... With our truth is never the stuff about that storyline that I'm most excited for. Mm. I tell you something that made me feel really old when somebody described Awesome Truth as a nostalgia act. Mm. 2011 was it? Mm. Was it 2011? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they got involved in Triple H versus CM. And then I'm like, yeah, you're maybe, right. Maybe that's why. Maybe I've never forgiven them for that. 2011, right? Is 13 years ago. Yeah. Yep. That's like being in the year 2000 when... and watching a tag team, right? <laughs> From 1987. It's true. It's horrible. <laughs> the horrible truth, as opposed to the awesome truth. I blame like the increase in quality of like TV. Yeah. Because you think about the 80s, it's all green. Barely see it. It's not there yeah. with the mustache. It's all cool. But then now, <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes what year something's from. Um, but uh, I've changed my mind. Push him. He's doing all right. Good lad. <laughs> Push, Toilet. push him, him. but don't have him be the little weirdo that was in NXT with his herbal remedies and no, 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 yeah. meditating and stuff like that. Will work. NXT UK champion Tyler Bate yeah. when he was having matches with Gunter and picking up much bigger men. Little likable, big strong boy. Yes. Um, oh, what a what a wonderful conundrum we have here. <laughs> Because <laughs> they are oh, still yeah, doing well in what they're doing, but they're sort of floating around just, you know, willy-nilly. I think one final push and then put them in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so you're talking Put them out of past tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else is there left to do? They've done it Get all. Get them in the shed at the bottom of the garden. It's, it's not due to a lack of desire to see them. They've done it all. I don't want to see the New Day split up ever. If we reach a point where Big E can wrestle the odd match, let's have them as like a like a, a, a rarity, like a special attraction. Yeah. Let's have the New Day, but let's put them in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to say it, but... Yeah, maybe that is the best. That's a nostalgia act. (laughs) They've been together, lads, for 10 years this year. Wow. It was 2014 when they initially got together, wasn't it? With the. Mm. Oh, yeah, that was gospel singing. Um, I think having them. I don't know if they count as a special attraction, but that sort of vibe of like not being there every week, but when they are there, you feel something. Yeah. Feel the power. Yeah. Yeah. The power. (laughs) The positivity. Keep them going. Ah, push. It's an easy push. There was talk of him baby facing Brock. At the elimination chamber this year, and 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 I get why it's not happening, but I'm very sad for him that yeah, it's not that, happening. That would have been. So I think a Don Brock match would have been hilarious. Yeah, that would have been. I mean, they could when he eliminated Braun after the Brock news came out that Braun had replaced him in the Rumble. I thought, why not just have that match instead? Braun and Dom. Braun Dom. Braun Dom. Braun Dom. Dom. <laughs> that <laughs> would be like a good a... debut for Braun. To be fair though, yeah, it would on the main roster. Dom's really. Um, he plays such a good role in the in the roster. So yeah, push. Keep keep him going. Is that Jaya Lee? That is Jaya Lee. Jaya Lee. The fact that I've said that, 
I thought you I thought you were doing like the eighties TV thing. Who's that over there? <laughs> Is that Shia Lee? Um, I like Shia Lee because she's different when she wrestles. Yeah. It's a different style because everyone's trained the same these days and largely look the same when they're doing the moves. So she the fact she looks different when she's wrestling, that's a positive for me. But it's just she's not being used, is she? So I guess it's a repackage. I think Busher with the character she's got, I uh, like it. The most electrifying woman in sports entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, push. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yes, boy. Where's Satya? Yes, boy. The week after, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth oh, II God. appeared in heaven and, <laughs> and said, Hello, boys. NXT is seeping through to the main road. It was the though. NXT river. It was the it little was Lake, promenade thing, Lake Sad. Yeah. yeah. The Lake Sad. Where yeah. they go to feel sad. Yeah. That's the, where the NXT, <laughs> when they feel sad. They go to that bandstand next to the lake. Lake size. It's, Some, a, it's yeah. a push, and keep doing the yeah. stupid stuff like Queen Elizabeth II <laughs> appearing in the sky. <laughs> that, it is a push. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. A bit disrespectful to the British. No, 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 We're all right Diana. with it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it's a push. I like her. But it's just, it's the promos, isn't it? That's the only sort of, I think that's what's keeping her down. Mm. Mm. I think Pusher still, yeah. regardless. I think that, you know, if, if there are some wrestlers who do have bad promos, so they put them with a manager. Yeah. They not solve the problem with that way and give Zoe Stark a mouthpiece. Yeah. Yes. Push. Hey, Kawi. Push them because they're a tag team with lots of innovative tag team maneuvers that other tag teams don't do. And that should be a good thing for a tag team division. So push them. Lord knows we need a women's tag division. So yeah. push. Yeah. Push. Yeah, absolutely. Up the Kawis. Oh, oh push. Yes. yes. The yeah. focal point of the meat planets on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> the s- center of the meat universe. I just want a division where you have to be like over three bills. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> over three bills getting one division, have a championship, just bash each other every week. Fantastic. <laughs> it's uh, it's Sponsored by Domino's Pizza. <laughs> Such an easy push. He doesn't even need to be... I don't mind him in Alpha Academy, but he's likable on his own. Mm. Yeah, push. Yeah. Weirdest money in the bank winner ever. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um... I like heel AJ Styles, if that's what we're getting at the moment. He's just, he he's, he's just sort of his own guy, isn't he? So mm. keep it going. I'm enjoying it. The- I think I think push. I think I think Hall of Fame beckoning soon. I think repackage and whatever whatever run they give him, make it relevant to like him looking back on his career. Maybe he wants to handpick a few relevant opponents or something like that. But I, I at the minute I'm going to say repackage because he feels a bit aimless right now. Mm. The LWO all in one picture. What a mad picture. <laughs> Why is Selena Vega so massive? Oh, yeah. that's, life, that's the only life size picture in there. Go, oh, my children. She's in the Meat Planet division. <laughs> um, so, with Devil Carlito already, I probably should take him out of the picture, but the other people in the LWO, I think just keep them keeping on. Yes. Yeah, I agree. especially mm. Big Zelina. I want to see her everywhere. Actually, <laughs> dominating the landscape. I'm going to say repackage, actually. And I'm going to say Zelina. I know he's currently presented as a baby face, but I think reunite Zelina with Andrade because I really like their act in NXT. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice shout, actually. And they teased it with Andrade as well when he went to Aldis. He went, say hello to Zelina Vega for me. But it never really has been followed up on. So, yeah. I, I like them as, I mean, in terms of what they do, what the purpose they serve as sort of like the... Without, with the exception of Ray, sort of jobbers to the stars. Yeah. <laughs> like, you need a, a group like that. They they serve a necessary purpose. Mm. So, I think push them. Yeah. We. Oh. He's the boy. The best work of his WWE run, I'd say, so far, him being in the Judgment Day. Just eh? being, aye. Right, yeah. it is. Bland babyface Finn on the main roster. Aye, 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 I, I mean, the in. cool shooty lad in NXT, I get, but on the oh, main roster, not, I mean, right, yeah. okay. best work on the main roster um, by a mile. So I think keep it going for as long as it can keep going. Mm, yeah, push. Um, repackage as, oh, I don't know, just make him wear the paint. Dick boy. Paint more off, wear paint more, <laughs> more paint. He wins when he wears the paint. You've pointed out. Except when he doesn't. Yeah. Well, but it, it gives him more powers. Did he, has he lost the last two matches in the paint? He lost the one at Roman when he flopped like a fish on the yeah, outside. Yeah. And then the ring. That's because Seamus loosened the turnbuckle by getting jiggy on it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it all um, makes sense. He lost to Edge. At the minute, oh, he did. At the minute, I'm just, at the minute, he just, he's starting to like, they want, they're trying to bring it, they're like, you need to be more vicious again, Finn. He's like, yeah, I do. But then he also likes puns now or something. Like, doesn't he make <laughs> weird jokes now? And Does stuff? he? He's always been a little chirpy so-and-so in the background of uh, yeah. vignettes and whatnot. Maybe I'm just, Noticing it a bit more. 
Um, re- uh, no, I'll push you right. He is, he is doing well. Repackage. Yeah, yeah. Getting back easy. to Crypto King from NXT. Mm-hmm. Writes itself. Easy stuff. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that. It was weird how people didn't quite get the fact that he could be a fun Southern man and a millionaire gimmick. <laughs> Surely he can only be one or the other. Like, <laughs> they could be both. Well, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. be both. Push. Yes. No. Karen's oh. stuff is working. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. This is great. Keep oh, I thought you going. said no there. I thought you went, no. Don't oh, no, I, I mean, yes. Oh. Yes, yeah, I mean, no, no, I mean, yes. It's like the old fella off Vicar of Dibley. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, push. Interesting time for Dakota Kai. They swerved me, brothers, on SmackDown last week. I thought she was going to whizzle wazzle Bailey in the back, but then she didn't. She aligned with her. Mm, for now. For now. Because I thought she was pulling the strings of damage control behind Bailey's back, but then she wasn't. She's gaslighting us. Mm. We've seen her conniving with the rest of damage control in the background. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did she actually Did she actually hit any of them with the chair? No. She warned them off, though. I think oh, she might be doing God, a... I've been whistle-wazzled for a second week in a row. Mm. Well, and maybe maybe it'll carry on if Tom's Rollins prediction comes true. Well, that's it, because I think push. And then when EOS guy is benched, having a break, we do a bit of Bailey Kai. Mm. I'm a big Dakota guy. Mm. Nah, me too. And uh, I think... <laughs> I want to see Dakota fly up the card. Yeah. Hey. To a women's championship picture. We are not Dakota shy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dakota why? <laughs> What's the Poison Pixie? <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard repackage for me, Jeff. It's just, again, it's the Poison Pixie. She comes out with wings and goes. Mm. <laughs> and that's her character. She's got no character... In the way NXT, in the in the way of NXT, she was really funny. I thought with Indy Hartwell, on now it's just it's not working. So repackage. Bench for now. Ooh. Repackage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bench. <laughs> <laughs> um, Push Hollywood Rock. <laughs> Good choice of picture there. Like. 2000s rock. It's a wonderful, Com- wonderful Complete budget. with like the classic backdrop they used to use for all photos to make them look sophisticated. <laughs> like your, like your mum's living room, but in brighter colours. Uh, I think, yeah, I, I mean, where do we, do we all agree that, that rock playing corporate rocks, which is kind of like adjacent to Hollywood rock, is a great plan for 2024? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, the new Austin McMahon is Rock Cody. Oh. Mm. I don't know if The Rock will be around that often, though. He doesn't need to be. True, very true. He does not need to be. Mm. He he can have people on the ground that make the decisions for him. He can do videos in. I think, I know he won't be around very often, but I think now he is on the board, I think he will be more inclined to be more present there, even if it is just in video form. Mm. Just saying, hey, Cody, you're fighting 18 people tonight. Good luck, kid. <laughs> from the Love the passion. Of, from the deck of a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Motion, yeah. And, and him not being around, and she goes, oh, sorry, I can't be there. I'm on the set of bloody Black <laughs> Adam 2. <laughs> well, you've, Why are we doing this? Wait, like, you've made him into, you know, you, you know Futurama? Yeah. He's Calculon. <laughs> He's the act- <laughs> Have you seen Futurama? Yet? No, no. no. Um, he's calculus. There, there's an actor robot who's really like falsely nice, <laughs> and then he's like, "We'll get some reaction shots of me later on." And then it is him on a deck chair just with a drink going. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> he has got the pen. I always laugh when he used to go. I've given my mum a pickup truck. Yeah, yeah. From one of my sponsors, who would have paid for the pickup truck. Um, no bad. I think. <laughs> Uh, but I think lean into it yeah. and it's just like, oh, was, hey, here's a car. Thanks to my friends at John Lucas Citroen. I'm, <laughs> I'm so scared of how big he is because you remember Cody And you'll rip, th- rip your throat out. Huh? Is that probably we did with John Cena? Oh, yes. Where Cena really pissed him off. He's like, I'm six foot four and I'll rip your throat out, yeah. buddy. Do you remember Cody <laughs> Rhodes, right? Tall man. Yeah. And then at the press conference, the uh, rock was, it was terrifying. Six foot four, isn't he? Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll repackage him as a member of the final resolution. Silent <laughs> member. <laughs> no, it's a push for Dwayne. Push him. That, push, push Calculon. That chicken nugget promo he did on the Pat McAfee show made me a believer. <laughs> that, well, that's what we need to I do. I haven't seen that. Oh, he's like, oh, all these people saying, oh, Cody needs to finish oh, his no, story. I, sorry, I, yes. You do 10 tweets, you stick a chicken nugget up your ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you meant you'd given his earnest opinions on chicken nuggets, <laughs> <laughs> like Sean Dyche did on Curry recently. Yes. Mm. Oh, he loves, what did he love? Pecoras. He likes pecoras and he likes bargies. Um, and he likes um, samosas. Lamb. Did you see The Rock went to In-N-Out Burger for the first time? For the first time? It's, it's, a, it's a running did thing online been, where he did a video going, I've never been to In-N-Out Burger. And everyone went, mate, you've been loads. Why are you <laughs> doing a video <laughs> pretending you've never been? <laughs> He's just an odd man. I love him. <laughs> that sounds like 
Le- the basketballer LeBron James <laughs> often turns up to games with a book. Like you walk off the team coach, like past the press, and he'll just be reading a book. But he's always on like the first few pages. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly for show. He likes to start a new book every game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, push Calculon. <laughs> push. 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 Really. She looks like Kane there. <laughs> Kane I'm, I'm not quite seeing Glenn Jacobs there. Just the attire. Just the attire. <laughs> it's the breasts mainly. <laughs> And the hair, um, but yeah, the, the slow baby face turns working. So yeah, the Bailey face, turn. Bailey face turn. Yeah, it's not even going. slow anymore. It's a quick. That it's a when flying. she said, when for some reason, and it and every time they've replayed it since, when she goes you and as for that challenge, I'll see you at WrestleMania. There's something about the delivery of it, I get. I'm like, oh, mm. oh my god, I just really, won. I really wanted to win. <laughs> yeah. Shoo! That is such an Owen Mawson photo. <laughs> <laughs> My football team's better than yours. <laughs> um, Owen, a, Owen loves Chad Gale. It's a repackage for me, you know. <gasps> Away from the academy. I think the academy is weighing him down. Right. It's making him a lower card comedy act, and I think he's better than that. He is better than that, but I think that can be remedied. I'd rather remedy that with a push than a repackage. It's the Tazawa curse. <laughs> Anything Tazawa touches yeah. turns to comedy. I was going to say push like Jack, but you've convinced me repackage then push. Oh. Repush a package. He should be the guy that beats Gunter. Yeah. Because there's a great story you can call back on there. He mm. came so close, his kids were crying, brah. <laughs> and it's the idea that I love the thought, okay, maybe he goes away, just wins a bunch of matches, gets really good, and then comes back and has another go. And this time he does it. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a great end to Gunter's reign if it's, if it's Chad that does it. Mm. It would. Oh. Ooh, tag team champion Asuka. Oh no, I've got the hiccups. Uh-oh. Hold it in. I'm trying. <laughs> um, Hopefully it was just one on its own. The George Michael of her tag team with <laughs> Kyrie Sane, who is the Andy. <laughs> was that inspired by? <laughs> just saw your teeth. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to say keep on just what they're doing at the moment. Just have them turn up and just be, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just what this play the like, hits. Yeah, Save like, faith. Yeah, they're like just cackling a little school girl. I was going to go, yeah, push, you've got to have faith. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, push. Um, Give her everything she wants. I guess you could say it was a little bit of a careless whisper what they were doing when Bailey saw them chatting about her. When was the last time she won? Was it last Last Christmas? Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Can't say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Javan, even it's a soft push. It's to keep on just doing it. I've enjoyed what they're doing. The, yeah. the little tease of the breakup, and they're not doing the breakup. I enjoyed the hierarchy of Imperium and him being the the bottom. So Steel yeah. Fraser and Becky Lynch is a good position for him to be in. Mm. Yeah, he's definitely the uh, the Mylene class of. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I've gone here. Say so that the... it's pure and simple, isn't it? It is. Uh, but yeah, I'll say keep on they keeping were, on push. They were on the cusp. They were ready to take over the world here. Say. So. Mm. Oh, I could say Imperium were. And Imperium. <laughs> in many ways, very similar. Um, oh. She's not been round. Not been round. Had a little baby child. Congratulations, well done to the baby child for arriving. For popping out. For arriving. Mm. <laughs> it's a weird way of saying that, but we'll go with it. Um, if she does come back to wrestling, because I'm not fully convinced that she will do, it's a repackage from what she was doing last time we saw her. What was she doing last time we saw her? She was getting sort of infiltrated by the fiends. Oh, spooky Alexa. Little Alexa, thing happening yeah. on, the, on the Tron and whatnot and the Mr. Fur just being a, a bit of a bland baby face. So having her go back to 2016, I think would be a wise thing. Repackage. Yeah. Yes, repackage. She's really good at being a heel, uh, but not that kind of heel. Make her normal again. <laughs> Make Bliss normal again. <laughs> oh, oh push She's him. called him a curse, haven't I? So, but I do enjoy watching him on screen. I just don't like him being aligned with Chad. Because I think it's suff- it's it's hampering Chad. So we think repackage? Yeah. But ha- keep them the same, but repackage. Just take away from Chad. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yes, uh, I'd probably agree with that. Yeah, yeah repackage. Uh, same as Asuka. Yeah, Andy, yeah. keep going. Uh, keep the, going, Andy. The Andy, yeah. The Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Ridgely. Push! Oh. Heartbreaks, on, heartbreaks on this week's Raw mm. uh, when he didn't win the match to go to Australia. I think you were right when you were saying they're going to just have him have a qualifying match or something. Don't. But I uh, see his wife's having a baby child as well. So there's a lot so a lot going on. Yeah, he so. might be missing the show because of the baby child. Imagine then why put that tweet out? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, it, was his, maybe it was his genuine thought. <laughs> I am sad about missing the I'm episode. sad about losing the match that I was told yeah. to lose. Well, it's, well, well, there has to be some <laughs> layer of artifice. Of, um... <laughs> I like Bronson, but I, 
I don't know what his little weird cheeky occasional cheeky character is. Daddy-o. Yeah, what's that about? I wish he wouldn't put sunglasses on indoors just so he could take off sunglasses indoors <laughs> in the midst of his promo. Yeah. That's what he does, Tom. That's he's, his gimmick now. Yeah, like, that's, that's his thing, isn't it? But I've got a better gimmick. We go back to the one that we had when he came back in. We repackage him as the one-man APA. Mm. Okay, Where, yeah, like, yeah, people yeah. go, oh, God, I need this done. Bronson is 30 quid. Go and beat him up. I like that as well. It's <laughs> a real low bar, to be fair. Yeah. He's, 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 like the, he's, like, he's like a wrestler on Fiverr. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I really, I really hope that you know. Obviously, now uh, the bounty hunter Brian Keith is in AEW. He's all elite, but he hasn't yet offered his services out. He just says, he's suggesting that AEW have hired somebody that they're not doing anything with. Uh, oh, you're nearly as bitchy as Matthew yeah, about AEW. Been, yeah, been, it's annoying me. Few shots have been fired at Tony Khan. Uh, it's annoying me. You mentioned oh. AEW on the podcast, and I was like, "Ha ha, they have no fans." <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> no, they've definitely got fans. They just they've reached a point though where well, they've got Matthew, more wrestlers than fans, Matthew, which is a worry. Matthew recently decided. Very quickly that he was sick of CM Punk, which I understand because he's dominated the news for ever. But he also really recently decided that FTR aren't very good. I was like, hang on. <laughs> well, that's wrong. FTR well, are not brilliant. That they, not that they weren't good wrestlers, but something about them not... What did he say? I can't remember. It was question. We both went, hang on. I just every time you, you mention AEW, you always just say something, doesn't he, now? And I'm like, oh, Whoa. you little bitch. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a new catchphrase on the podcast. Anyway, <laughs> <little> Bronson. <laughs> Push the Bronson. Yes. Um, Repackage. What has Sell, I don't know, but this current theory where he's hamstrung in promo and in terms of what he does in mm. the ring, they're just they're taking everything away from him. I, just, it, I don't understand what they're doing with him and just have him go back to at least what the selfie guy was, because at least the selfie guy had a character. Mm. Repackage. Did you make him stupid again? Yeah, he was That's quite, fun. yeah. Big bloody bimbo. Yeah, little bimbo, him, himbo <laughs> man, himbo Austin Theory. It's weird because it, at the minute he needs to get away from Grayson Waller because Grayson Waller is just better than him on the mic and stuff. But also it would help Grayson to have a singles run, but it would help him as well. But I, I don't know if that's a pusher. I think it's a repackage because I don't, it, it, whatever he's doing at the minute is very bland. It's yeah. a repackage. Keep him going. Yeah, he's fine. In he's all right run. in Judgment yeah, Day. He's yeah, doing well. push, push, push. Bench. I think we bench her. Oh but tell her to get off the bench and go to the performance center for a little while. I don't think it's her fault, though. I don't think it's her fault either. It's not, I, yeah, it's not her fault. She's, she's got, like, the, the, the charisma and the energy and the passion for it, and I love seeing her on the screen. I think she's got a lot of easy-to-love to energy, but just she's been thrown into these big matches, uh, and she's in, a, she's in a stable, which is based around, these are brilliant actual wrestlers. Yeah. So that's a big, or, that's a yeah. tall order, isn't it? For anybody. I think either bench or repackage as a manager. And that's fine. Although I know babyface managers aren't. It's n it's never the natural order of things for a, a face to have a manager. So maybe bench. But it's not, yeah, it's not her fault. I feel cruel with us all going, oh, she's not ready. I just think but you keep going with the story that we're doing, which was Chad teaching her to wrestle, but just have it go on a few more months until she is ready to have a singles match with Ray Ripley without pooing the bed. Yeah. Mm. Elephant, elephant, elephant. Elephant, elephant, elephant. And the sneeze is gone. Love it, Kaiser. Keep him doing. He's going to go on a singles yeah. run eventually, I think, with the vignettes we've seen so far um, as part of Imperium. So, yeah, just keep being a fancy boy. I mm. agree. Do we think there's maybe a, a divide in Imperium and we see a Kaiser Gunter match and somewhere? Custody of... Lud uh, sorry, Giovanni <laughs> Vinci. Custody of Giovanni <laughs> Vinci. Congratulations to Ludwig Kaiser. Uh, him and Tiffany Stratton are uh, renting a new flat. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a news article yesterday where she went on TikTok and said, it is sad that we're on different rosters, but we are about to move in together. So Aww. congratulations to them. They're not buying, they're only renting. Yeah. Oh, I thought they'd be buying with the main roster money. Yeah, I guess I guess. I guess not. you want to get a bit of the money behind you first, don't yeah. you? You, know, you want to just be sure. <laughs> oh. Push! Best in the world! <laughs> It's a push for me as well. Oh, yeah. He's, it, 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 it's such a heartbreaking thing to have him come back and immediately get injured. Mm. Uh, which, but when he comes back, possibly this is your end. He was trying to cause a nuisance on that kickoff show. I thought some of the things he was mm. saying. And I was, I was yes, there for it. What a worker, brother. Yeah. He's, He's getting a punk rock just match. Punch him in the face. Point. Punch him in the face. Oh, if he got his win back <laughs> over the rock, I'd be the happiest boy. Like. Never going to happen. No, no. <laughs> Great um, day. He's, uh, yeah, as Tom said there, he's got so many options when he comes back. Drew... Obviously, it should be the first stop. Rollins, The Rock, <laughs> Roman Reigns, like, just whatever. Um, push. Yeah. But, 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 like, everyone's pointing out the injuries are piling up. And I know it's different parts of his body, but it's obviously not a good sequence of events. But he doesn't have to, well, you say he'd have to wrestle that much. That was the second match? Yeah, in it was, yeah. A month or so? He had yeah. the one with Dom in December, mm. then the Rumble, and that was it. Mm. Oh, God. 
Have him just be a manager then. <laughs> <laughs> have him manage Maxime. Yeah, there there yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sorted. You're right welcome. itself. Is that the end, Joel? That's it. By well, God, we've know. reached the end. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know how wrong we are in the comments down below. Let us know who you will push. Bench. Bench. Repackage. Repackage. What we yeah. want to happen. Oh.